You've heard these words thousands, maybe millions of times, Windows optimization. And a lot of times when you hear it, you think of two things, custom Windows installs that you have to wipe your entire Windows install, or it's some elaborate thing that takes hours or days to set up just to play games. People don't want to do that. People want to just do a couple of things and then get to gaming. And that is why I am releasing my Windows optimization pack. This is the same pack that I give to my clients over at chambertech.net. So this is not something that I just kind of released to get people to watch. No, this is actually what I use every single day. I have been tuning it and testing it for over a year now, and it works perfectly. A lot of you might know that I recently released Chamber OS. And why is it that I'm actually releasing this as well? And maybe why should you pick this over Chamber OS? Chamber OS is based off Windows 11 Pro 24H2. Typically, that's what most people who are installing Windows are just going to choose. So, hey, look, go ahead, go install Chamber OS. That's what's still going to be my recommendation. But if you want to try something out like Windows 11 Pro, Windows 11 LTSC, or maybe a new Windows 11 version such as 25H2 that's releasing in the next couple of months, you can just set this up and get to testing or get to playing games. Also, if you do not want to deal with a custom Windows install, you don't want to deal with having things potentially removed that you might use, that is where this Windows optimization pack does work. Also, if you just want to clean up your Windows install that you've had since you've got your PC four years ago, this could do it. Probably still want to reset your Windows, but you don't have to. If you are interested in actually reinstalling Windows though, I do have a video from about a year ago that I'll link down below showing you how to properly install Windows 11. Let's get right into it and I will show you how I set up the best Windows 11 optimization pack for you. Here we are. This is a brand new Windows 11 install. Pretty much basically stock. The only thing I've done is I just set up Edge so that it won't ask me to like sign in with my account and I extracted the Windows optimization. You can get it from the link down below. Um, this is a .7-zip file, but all you need to do is right click extract all, hit extract, but I've already done that, so let's just open it up. Now let's open the window itself. Now everything is just one through five. Five simple steps, let's go. So open up optimization. When you do this, you are going to have to hit yes a bunch of times if you have user access control. This is just to install DirectX and C++. Same thing if you were gonna install it um, normally, but it's just, a, it's supposed to be a silent install, but because of the user access control, it's not really so silent. All this really does is if we look at this, it is just changing your power plan, importing my registry key that you can see, um, changing a couple power config settings, and doing the C++ and DirectX, so super simple. Now let's go to configure Windows. This one is just a bunch of things I recommend doing, such as disabling delivery optimization. This makes it so that other devices on your network that need updates, you're not downloading them for them, as well as other ones aren't installing updates for you. Uninstall OneDrive. I say OneDrive, you can uninstall all of these, but I'm just gonna uninstall OneDrive the main reason why I throw an emphasis on OneDrive is because this is constantly backing things up in the background and it's just not something you really want and then it's gone. Choose time and region. Obviously I am on Eastern time zone so I'm just going to sync and there we go. Configure taskbar. I am going to just do, if you're on OLED, automatically hide taskbar. Cool. And nightlight. This is another one I really like doing. Um, I like to schedule it and if you can do sunrise to sunset, but yeah, just set hours nine to seven, but I'm gonna turn it off. To the drivers tab, this one's very important. If you have an AMD CPU, or if you have an AMD GPU, go to AMD drivers. I have an AMD CPU, so that's why I'm here for. Thanks, Microsoft Edge. I have a X870E motherboard, so I'm just gonna download this. Windows 11, download the chipset driver, give it some time to install. While I'm gonna do this, if you have Intel network, this is why I'm recommending downloading the Intel network drivers. I have an i210, so if you have real tech, you can just download the most latest up-to-date one, but I don't have that, so I'm not gonna install that. For my NVIDIA people, NV Clean install is the best option for you. Do not use the normal NVIDIA installer, especially if you wanna modify the driver, just to get slightly higher FPS. We are gonna start with AMD chipset software though. So 
this is the same thing kind of if you are on a GPU you just have to install it I've done videos on it before I'm just gonna hit next through all this so yes I'm just gonna hit install just let it run and then with Nvidia clean install I'm just gonna open it up for me what I like to do is just manually select the latest driver that's in available for gaming hit next minimum next and then just go through it um, this is what I'm gonna do for a desktop for a laptop it's a little different really just don't use NV clean install honestly for a laptop um, the laptop especially if you're not gaming on it primarily but I'm just gonna go through all of these I've done videos on this before maybe I'll do more up-to-date NVIDIA and AMD optimization guides but that's not what this is this is just a Windows optimization guide so we're gonna go now to programs and utilities this one is basically up to you this is what I use to download all my overclocking softwares for all of my uh, clients so if you want to do these if you want to overclock there you go the only one pre-installed is TM5 because it's kinda hard to find a download for it and then your game launchers what are your game launchers Battle.net, EA, Epic, GOG, Steam, Ubisoft super easy super fast and you can get right to gaming and there we have it in literally just like four minutes we have optimized your windows it's super fast and it allows me to actually effectively optimize people's windows installs while also allowing me to get focusing on overclocking which is what really matters if you want to support me go to the discord down below but let's get back into gaming